When you did come on the scene, you weren't behind the door telling people how good you were and how great you were <laughs> going to be, and uh, you were fairly cocky about the whole thing, were you not? It wasn't the time for wallflowers, you know? We were out to inspire a generation. At the time, we said we, we never had a message for the youth, but really what it was, it was just like, you can, if we can do it, we can do it. We're nobodies. We're a bunch of nobodies from a council estate. But if we can do it, you can do it. All our crew was just all our mates from Manchester. And we treated tours then, as we did right up to the end, till really an, an extended stag do, you know. Some people were on drugs and... <laughs> a lot of drinking. A lot of drinking. Which brings me neatly to drugs. Mm -hmm. Is it absolutely essential that rock and rollers need <laughs> drugs? Does it absolutely have to? Well, uh, Yes. <laughs> OK. Not really. No. It's a funny thing. It's a personal thing. You know, evidently, you don't need them. I was doing all that stuff before I was even in a band. So it wasn't like I'd arrived in London, got the fur coat and the guitar and the shades and someone handed me a big bag of drugs and said, off you go. I was doing that anyway. So when you become a rock star and you have money and a big house, you know, you tend to stay in and you get bored. But there came a point for me in 1998, I went to bed one night thinking this is the greatest thing ever. I am living the dream. I'm like the new Keith Richards. And I woke up the next morning and I thought, this is boring, I ate all these people. I went out on a night out in London and just looked around the people I was with and I thought, do I, I don't like you. I don't like you, I don't like your missus. I've never liked you, I don't even know what I'm doing with all these people. I'm not doing it anymore. And I've never done it since. Was it easy to stop? No, because trying to kick illegal drugs leads you to prescription drugs. And they're worse, because you can get those, and you're not breaking the law. And people, doctors, are quite willing, they'll sell you anything. If you've got the money. And when you were on all that stuff, did it improve your creativity or your musicianship? Or... Not in the slightest. No, not in the slightest. Not in the slightest. Why do they always think it, it does and it... Well, we were doing the... I've got to say, we were doing the wrong drugs. We were doing the one that's historically known to destroy any creativity. Uh, there are psychedelic drugs that evidently helps, you know... Sergeant Peppers wasn't made on drinking tea, was it? <laughs> <laughs>